It is Christmas Eve. I am getting ready for Arirang Radio. Today we're having a special Christmas Eve concert. So I gotta get there by 5.30 for rehearsals. And I have decided to wear the Song of Style dress that you guys saw me try on. I'll try to film when I get there, but I don't know. It just might be really hectic. Decorated the halls like this. So nice. I wanna feel you, girl. I wanna show you taste of love. Of love. I wanna see you, girl. Hey guys, today I'm going to get extensions for my bangs with gem all the way to Songsu. And I have been struggling to put on this necklace for the past 10 minutes. The bad thing about having long nails is that it's hard to put a necklace on. Oh my god, finally. Oh, but I have to do two more. <laughs> this colorful sweater. Anyways, so yeah, I wanted to get bang extensions because they're at an awkward length right now. And I feel like I look so stupid. So I'm just gonna get extensions to match the rest of my hair. Earrings. Struggled to put these necklaces on, but I'm gonna take them off because I want to go with silver. How do people put their necklaces on with these long nails? And I put it on backwards. <sighs> I have arrived. <laughs> <웃음> 언니 머리가 어둡고 가발을 좀 밝아. 그러니까 가발은 네. 단지 얘랑 맞는 거야 지금 보면. 뿌리에 맞는 어두운 색을 붙여. 여기 뿌리에 딱 맞거든요 지금 이게. 그쵸? 네, 이 매드 번지고 나. 좀 stupid reason I thought it be wise of me to cut my hair. Why did I do this to myself? I look so stupid. I this this is not what I imagined. But what is that? My hairstylist is going to kill me. Anyways, the hair extensions uh, were like $120, which is a little expensive, but at the same time, not really, because it lasts like a month to a month and a half, depending on how well you take care of it. I wish I could rewind to an hour ago before I decided to cut my hair. You know, you guys can relate, right? Sometimes you just 
want to do something stupid in the moment that you instantly regret three seconds later. That was just the case for me. I guess I had a stressful day. I needed to take it out on something. I wanted to show you guys how they did this. So they basically take a few strands of hair and then they braid the fake wigs onto it. But this place is famous because they have the technique to take really thin strands of hair and braid it in so it looks natural. Much more natural than other places that do bang extensions because I've seen some pictures and yeah, not everyone is good at this. The pro of getting the hair extension done at this place is I guess that they're really skilled so if they make it look really natural it wasn't that painful there were certain areas that were definitely more painful than others my scalp is more sensitive near my face so when they were pulling at the very front of the scalp it hurt a lot where i was actually like mm. but i mean it's bearable and it only lasts like 10 seconds so it's not that bad but a con is that since not a lot of people can pull off this technique in order to take this out i gotta go to that specific shop to get it done and i also have to pay to get these removed as well i don't think it's that much i think it's just like imanon i just can't go to any shops to get this removed and these will never fall out you can actually keep them on longer than a month and a half but it's just that it will get tangled and your hair will grow out so you will start to see it in the middle which will look really really unnatural so that's why people usually go back after like a month and month and a half to either get new ones or just take these off good morning guys i'm having a cup of joe with some fried eggs and no, that's not too much ketchup. I'm a ketchup mania, so I always have to have eggs with ketchup, even boiled eggs. It's so good. Mm. I put some everything but the bagel seasoning on it too. So, so good. It is the last day of 2020. It's December 31st. Wow. It really doesn't feel like the last day and it really doesn't feel like it's going to be a new year tomorrow but i just wanted to talk about some of my best used items this year i thought i would just casually talk about them while eating so maybe you can invest in one in 2021 so the first thing that i used the most was my water pick so i got the water pick as a housewarming gift from my manager when i first moved in and since march i've been using it every single day that's probably the item that i actually use every day and it changed my life because you know i used to floss my teeth with this string but then that seems so unsanitary it made my hands dirty i just didn't like having to shove it in there with water pick it's so simple so it saves time it's clean it's easy to use if you guys do floss regularly I think it's a good investment and you guys know that flossing is very very important, right? Next is the air fryer. I also got this as a housewarming gift from Ki who I do radio with and my air fryer is honestly really small. You can't fit a lot of things in there but during the vegan challenge I made potato chips, I made sweet potato chips. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can do with an air fryer and because most Korean homes don't come with an oven, it's a good replacement. It's not really the same as an oven but it's better than not having anything. And when I heat stuff up, especially food like pizza, I hate putting it in the microwave because it gets all soggy and watery and I don't like that at all. But if you pop it into the air fryer, it's just crispy and it's as good as new. So I really love that about the air fryer. I also talked about this on radio a few days ago, but I wanted to like talk about it here again because not all of you guys listen to my radio show. It's at 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. every day, Korean Standard Time. And you can download the Arirang Radio app or tune into the YouTube Live. Where are you guys? Next is my coffee machine. This is the most recent item I got. I got it as a birthday gift from my friends, Ayang, Gemma, and Dasha, and Sydney. This is also something that I've been using every day since I got. I'm already on my third can of capsules <laughs> i love having a cup of coffee in the morning i'm a little sensitive to caffeine so i can't have 
I'm a little sensitive to caffeine so I can't have it after like 6 p.m. or else I will have trouble sleeping but I love having it in the morning with eggs or sweet potatoes or apples coffee is pretty expensive in Korea most cafes usually sell a cup of Americano for like 4,000 won, 4,500 won and that's a, that's a lot of money if you think about it Spending 4,500 won every day on coffee for 30 days a month, that's $135. And for this, the capsule, there are 21 capsules inside and it's about $14. So it's like 666 won for a cup of coffee. Hmm. Next on my list is my LP player. I mean, do I have to go into details about this? Because <laughs> you guys know from watching my episodes that I am really obsessed with the LP player. It's a gift that I got for myself when I first moved in here. Uh, and I did not regret it one bit. It has brought me so much joy over the past nine months. Yes, I did spend a lot of money on LPs, but I mean, they last for a lifetime. And I can even give them to my kids in the future. If I do have kids, so I think it's worth the investment. And I like my LP player because you can also connect it to the radio and connect it to Bluetooth. But I do kind of want like a more classic turntable that's specifically just for LPs. It is kind of annoying though because each side is like 30 minutes long. So every 30 minutes you do have to flip it or put a new LP in. So that's a little annoying, especially when you have guests over because you have to like get up and change it every 30 minutes. But besides that, I love dancing to it. I love relaxing to it. I love just drinking my morning coffee, listening to the LPs. And in 2020, I had a lot of different hair colors and hairstyles and I told myself that I'm not gonna be going crazy like that next year because my hair is really damaged. I know considering that I bleached it like, I don't know, like seven times, it is not that bad. But also like I, I kept cutting and trimming. I'm gonna do my hair today, but I swear I'm not gonna be touching my hair for a long time after this. Well, I gotta fix this first. I was a little shocked because I was doing radio yesterday and someone, one of my fans, wrote that I look like H.O.T. from their Chunsai Huya days. So that was shocking so i was like okay i need to change my hair because this is looking ridiculous i do look like a 90s like <laughs> kind of like ses and finkel too but yeah i'm going to go to my hairstylist yeyoung sems so she moved to a new shop and i'm gonna be going there for the first time today yeah i showed her the picture and she just laughed and she asked me why but i had no I had no reason. I don't know why I did it either. Okay, it's just I don't know. I have a picture again. I was inspired by this person on Instagram, Iris Love Unicorns, and I'm gonna dye my hair overall black, and then I'm gonna leave side of bleached hair. That's what I'm gonna do today. Don't tell me, guys. I feel like all I've been doing is hair these days, like. We can't go to cafes, we can't go to the gym, we can't work out. I mean, I can work out at home, but I can't go to Pilates, I can't roam around. So it's like, at least at the salon, you don't have to take your mask off. You can just sit there and get your hair done. And it's like a breath of fresh air, I guess. And there's not much that you can experience these days. My New Year's plan is to just stay home and probably binge watch another series. I finished Sweet Home and oh my gosh. I'm sure a lot of you guys watched it as well, but I literally finished it in one day. There are 10 episodes. I didn't watch the Webtoon version and I was kind of reluctant to watch it at first because I'm not really good at watching scary things. But since it wasn't about actual ghosts or exorcism, I was like, okay, I'll watch it. Cause it's kind of like more about zombies. But there was an episode when it was like so creepy, almost like ghost scary, but it takes place at like this really worn down apartment, but that's in front of Hangang with a really nice view. The reason you turn into monsters is because you give in to your darkest, deepest desires. And 
I thought that was cool because I never saw something like that before. It was either, you know, you become a zombie because the government tried to experiment and then it failed or like the White Walkers. But this, you slowly turn into your monster because of something that you want so badly inside. And it made me think too, like, what would I, what kind of monster would I turn into if, if I were to turn into the form of my darkest, deepest desire? I don't know. What kind of monster do you think you'll turn into? I hope I become one of those monsters that don't harm anyone. Kind of like that woman who turns into a placenta. I'm done eating. I'm going to wash up and get ready to leave and I'll take you guys with me to the salon. Let's go. I'm in this leather jacket. A lot of you guys asked me where I got this leather jacket on Instagram and it's actually a hand-me-down from my dad. The last time I went to New York, I kind of went through his closet and he said he doesn't wear this anymore and I took it from him. Super soft and super comfy. He told me he got it at Macy's a couple of years ago, so I'm not sure if they'll still have it, but yeah, wearing my dad's jacket and my acne scarf. <laughs> <laughs> My dad was driving me down to the diamond Backseat and I thought I was gonna make it big Oh my god Oh my god It's just black <gasps> Something I know money couldn't help Always starving for my purpose Maybe I ain't found it yet Honest questions with my mother <laughs> Inside, it's like this Oh my gosh, I feel like a brand new person <laughs> 